Hello and welcome to We Wear Wellness, um, where we talk about mindset, spirituality, self-development, uh, mental health, and a lot more, basically helping you get to your best level self. Now you might be able to hear I'm like not very energetic and over the top and I'm learning to be okay with that, um, you know, showing up on video just a little softer, a little more natural because I don't think I'm always, um, you know, putting on my my video version of me. That's not me in real life where I'm always energetic. Of course, sometimes I am. I am a drama queen at times, but sometimes it's nice to just be soft and cozy. I want to invite you as well. I just had some warm coffee to just, you know, warm me up because it's so cold. Um, but I wanted to invite you on this talk about just entering the new year and resolutions and who you want to be and how we become that version of ourselves. Um, I wanted to share that, you know, while people are are just focusing so much on resolutions and goals and this and that and making lists, I wanted to say that if you're not making lists, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, the world might be making you feel like you're running behind if you haven't made your resolutions yet or maybe that there is a certain right way to make your resolutions or maybe that there are certain resolutions that are right. Um, you know, there's all these rules and structures and I want to invite you to just question them and be okay with the way that you are entering the new year. But I want to also highlight that whatever that way is, let it be aligned with your highest self. And what do I mean by that? By that I mean, don't let you, like, don't get lazy and that be the reason why you don't make resolutions or why you don't try to be healthier or maybe go to sleep on time. Don't let it stem out of laziness, but let it stem out of love, self-love. So love towards yourself and acceptance that you are doing the best you can or maybe you can do better and you can step it up a notch or you know you can set some more routines for yourself so that you can be more disciplined and show yourself love but let it all come out of a place of love whether it is um you know routines and habits and thinking like okay i'm gonna hit the gym three times a week or maybe it's giving yourself the permission to take two days off from the gym whatever it looks like for you let it come out of a place of love and not like laziness or feeling less than because everyone else around you is setting these high lofty goals right and and on top of that i just wanted to share like what i do and how i'm kind of entering the new year this year i usually have a long list of of goals and dreams and while i am definitely for that. I, I love thinking about the future and, and the possibilities that it holds. It's exciting. There's also this sense that I know that I'm doing my best every day. And so if that one thing doesn't happen in the future, I'm not going to rest my happiness on that. And as for resolutions and healthy habits to incorporate every single day, um, you know, there is less attachment from my side personally on the new year than it is just every day. Every day I try to do, you know, my best, whether that is waking up early or going to sleep early or, you know, uh, eating healthy, whatever it is. It's not something I think that is healthy or beneficial to put all the pressure on one day of the year, right? Because we are humans, we're not machines, and this isn't some reset button that's gonna happen on the 1st of January. It's not like some, you know, and updating the whole system. It's, it's, we're not that. And so some days you'll be able to hit your goals, some days you won't. And that's okay, don't be hard on yourself, right? So what my point is, the message I'm trying to tell you through this video is that it's going to look different for you. Maybe you're in the spot where you want to be thinking about your dreams and your goals and writing them down, sort of scripting them, manifesting them into reality, and that is beautiful. Do that. If that's what lights you up and motivates you, do that. But if you're at a space where you don't know what you want in the future, you don't know, you're not sure, you're at a crossroads, or maybe you just haven't had time to think about it because of things that have been going on in your life recently, then that's okay as well. 
And maybe you're at the spot where you are ready to be disciplined and get into your regime and write down goals and, you know, print out habit trackers and, and really track each of your habits because you want to be a better you then that's okay but if you are somebody who is just focusing on daily basics just getting out of bed or just you know um getting to work on time or just making sure you shower every day wherever you are in your journey that's enough as well and i i just don't want this time to be this sort of unnecessary pressure on you you know making you think that you have to have it perfect or that you have to be creating a perfect vision board for your dreams to come into reality otherwise you know the next year is going to be a fail that's not true that's not how it works and so yeah just keep that in mind show yourself love um and another thing i want to just like share is that i feel like this season can be is is meant to be a season of um going within sort of you know slowing down and listening to yourself maybe spending more time with yourself and exploring these thoughts exploring where you are in your journey of life and what you do want to call in the next year but often we get caught up in speeding up and meeting a bunch of people and doing xyz and filling up our schedules and calendars because it is the holiday season it is the festive season right and and so i find there's this there's this big difference between what we what we are called to do in the season versus what we do actually as a society and so you know if you're able to spend some time alone or retreat and and just spend some time with yourself thinking about what it is that you want to call in in the future or this coming year or maybe even just reflecting on the past year celebrating yourself just with yourself just writing in your journal maybe that you know like this is what's happened or i was able to heal xyz or i was able to get out of this toxic relationship or i was able to challenge my negative thoughts or i learned to you know stand up for myself anything anything maybe you got a new job just celebrating those small things with yourself because that's really what the key to to life really is that sounds so big and lofty but you know it it, it is really true because when you get caught up in in the external achievements and showing it to people maybe updating your linkedin or putting a story on instagram you are not feeling the achievement i feel, i felt this so many times like when i am like i have a proud moment or a happy moment and i'm putting it on social media trying to get everyone's attention i'm not even able to enjoy the happiness of that moment it just becomes like something i see on social media but when you do it for yourself and then it doesn't matter what other people think about it or not then you can fully like you have that energetic capacity to experience the joy of that accomplishment or that good moment right and so i think it's coming it's more about coming back to yourself forget about other people forget about putting music to your highlights and your best pictures and putting up a reel on instagram or tiktok i'm just come back to yourself and raise yourself up vibrationally um you know lift yourself up come out of love do the things you do out of love towards yourself not because you need to or because someone on youtube says you should make resolutions or because somebody has a perfect vision board or because somebody is putting up stories about their best year ever you know don't do it because of that thing you are worth more than any of this trust me and you your opinion about yourself is worth more than any of this as well it doesn't matter what other people think because at the end of the day when you wake up in the morning it doesn't matter what other people think but when you don't like yourself you're going to feel like crap and if you like yourself you're going to feel amazing and so that's a little harsh way to put it but I, what i'm trying to just tell you and i think you can understand me and where i'm coming from is to show yourself love nurture yourself support yourself and if you need to slow down which i highly recommend during the season because that's what nature calls us to do then do that carve out some time for yourself to nourish yourself and lift yourself up so that you do step into the new year on the right foot and another thing i really want to quickly add is more than the new year i do follow you know the full moon and the, the new moon the moon cycle um because i feel like that is a practical way to really get in tune with the energy of nature as well as it gives you a shorter time period to you know put out intentions 
make those intentions come into reality, manifest them, and then slow down because it's just a month, right? Rather than a whole year. You can, you can plan a lot more in a month. And so just as a side note, um, the next, um, what is it? The new moon is on January 2nd. So, you know, again, this plays into the fluidity of ourselves and humanity and, and nature. Um, because maybe Jan 1st is not some reset clock for you. Maybe you partied a lot on November, uh, December 31st and you know, you woke up late on Jan 1st and you feel like, oh no, the whole year is wasted now because you slept in and you're hungover. Well, that's not the case. You can start on Jan 2nd, right? Like that is a new start as well. It's a new moon, it's a new opportunity. Or maybe you can start on the next Monday or you can start on any day. Whenever you feel ready and equipped, start that day and that can even mean now. If you are ready with your resolutions or some healthy habits or some goals you wanna set, start tomorrow or start right now. How can you start thinking like the version you want to be in 2022? Or let's say you've achieved all your goals in December, 2022, how would you be feeling? How would you be acting? What would you be wearing? What would you be saying? Start doing those things right now, right? It's never too early or late. It's never a wrong time or a right time. It's just now is the time. So it's your choice, okay? I hope this made sense. This was just a lot of, you know, um, heart to heart talk without any notes or scripts or anything. So let me know if it made sense and um, do comment below what your goals are for 2022, what your resolutions are, who you're wanting to become, who is she, what's the type of person or he, um, and write that down in the comments, you know, bring it alive, bring that person alive because the, the more you do that, the faster that you will actually match energetically to that version of her and bring her into reality, into physical reality. Because right now she's probably a thought, right, in your mind. And so bringing her into reality, the version of you that you want to be, um, it comes with talking about her and getting very specific about her and feeling like her and becoming her. So get clear, get clear in the comments. I'd love to read, you know, um, what you're calling in this this year um and take care and of course do like this video if you liked it don't like it if you don't like it um, and do subscribe if you're following along on my channel it would mean the world to me um but yeah i hope you have a great day and a very very happy new year um and a great holiday season uh, so take care i love you and um, bye